Good morning. Hello. Is she coming or what? I can't go anywhere without my daughter running out the door wanting to come in the truck with me. She has one shoe. Well, use another shoe. Find a different shoe. Where are the blue shoes? Does, does she not wear shoes in the mountains? Okay. So then what's the problem? So, um, I think today's the final day for the boat. Uh, it's Some things came out really good and some other things not so good. I'm going to end up probably having to redo the cover. Um, it's not going to last. It's, part of it's my fault because I use marine plywood. And I, I used that before and it, and it didn't last. I don't know why I used it again. I'm such a dummy. Um, but I have to order wood from the mountains for the cover, you know, so that it won't it won't bust open from the heat and the, um, and the salt air. Okay, 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 okay. Bring her up here. Uh, what? No boo boos. You don't have any boo boos. Come on. Get in. Get in your seat, boo boo. Now. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What? What? Huh? No boo boo. Huh? Let me see your face. Where's the boo boo? <laughs> you don't have any boo boo. Stop being a faker. Okay. Let's go down to the beach, okay? Let's go. Uh, so it's. They're not going to last either. But I'll give it a shot. It's the best I can do. How are we gonna do this? Where are we gonna put the lock? Steam this? No, I don't know. Probably not, but that's okay. I, just use it for now. But where are you gonna put the lock? Okay, like that. Yeah, but you can still lift it up. Angle. It's light though, yeah. Oh, it won't come out. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's try it. See if that works. I don't know if it will.
Is it at the house? Is it at the house? Give you, give you? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't. I don't have it. Clean up, boy. No, it's gonna go the other way. Uh, it can't go like that because the people will unscrew this. Ah, uh, if you go this, yeah, this you gotta put it the other no, way. In the, in the, no, no, it has to go there. This other way. It's upside down. You have to turn it over. Yeah. Turn this over. You have to turn it over. Who's coming? Butterfly. <laughs> I love this kid. Daddy loves you! Yes! <laughs> she knows her alphabet. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Hi guys, good evening. Uh, welcome back to our family channel. Uh, it's been a long day. We uh, were working on the boat all day and we finally got it all put together. Everything is working. The cover is on, it's all locked. I mean, it doesn't mean that people can't break into it if they really want to, but at least it's locked up. You can't really just walk over there and open it up without getting a crowbar and prying everything open. Hopefully we're beyond that stage at this point. Um, so the boat's on the beach. And um, hopefully we won't have a problem where it is. Um, had a small argument today with um, some people down there at the beach today that, that own the property over there. <clears throat> they don't like the boat where it is. Um, so that, that's it. The boat's 
on the beach. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm looking forward to getting out, doing some fishing. Um, we've got the uh, kind of like the um, swinging bracket there for the transducer. I don't know if that's gonna work. So, you know, if I'll show you guys a, a better video when we take the boat out about the transducer, and you, you can make some comments below if you have any better ideas how to how to put it on. There's no transom. You can't mount these things on the back. So what we did was we put like a, a two by two going down the side of the boat uh, next to the um, next to the helm, and it's on a hinge. So because you can't leave that thing straight down, because the way we the way we store the boats and put them in the water, it'll it'll all break off. So you have to make it so that it's like an arm that that goes up and down. Um, so you put it down obviously when you're out in the water, but the problem is we can't figure out a way to lock it in place. <laughs> so I'm just going to tie um, some nylon, pull it tight, and then tie it off on the top of the boat, see if that works. But you'll see, I'll show you guys later. Um, so they finished up the cover, locked everything, it's got one, two, let's go, one, two, three, um, three, three locks on it. But the cover can't be moved, it can't be pulled off, you can't get underneath there, unless of course you rip it open. Hopefully it won't happen. <clears throat> uh, we had a nice dinner, had some crabs and some shrimp. Getting kind of tired of that, but I don't know what else to eat here. You know, this, the, the, the choices are so, so limited. Um, you know, you can't walk into a Whole Foods. Uh, no, no Whole Foods here, but you can get some fresh, you know, fresh strawberries, blueberries, or some really nice salad, vegetables, some greens. I don't have any of that here. Uh, pizza, of course. I love going to Whole Foods, just getting off, off of course, but I love going to Whole Foods just getting their dough, and then you go home and make a pizza. It's like the best pizza you've ever had. Uh, because I don't like, because, you know, of course I love my regular pizza shops and stuff like that, but, you know, the, the salt, they just put too much salt on everything. <clears throat> um, they, they have better fish. You know, it's like you go down to the fish place and it's the same choices every day. It's like all these re little reef fish I don't eat. Um, there's some mackerels, you know. I haven't seen any tuna in a long time. And I don't know if it's because it's not the season or... Hey, Bobo. So, I don't know if it's because it's um, not the season for tuna or if they're just not fishing for them because there's nobody here. No tourists, you know, there's no market for them. Those big tuna. Um, Filipinos don't really eat the tuna. They do. I mean, they eat all fish. But I would say tuna's not one of their favorites. Um, if you see something like a uh, Spanish mackerel, beautiful small Spanish mackerel, ah, oh, it's cheap. It's like 150 pesos. Because you no know, one, they don't eat it. Um, Tanigi, uh, that's, that's delicious, that's the uh, king mackerel. That could be up, that, you know, the prices for that kind of vary. Sometimes it's 300, sometimes it's 350, sometimes it's 250, you know. This one woman, she's the only one that always has it at the Gindelman market, and she always jacks the price up when she sees me, so I don't, I don't buy it anymore, which is kind of sad. Um, what else? So, I mean, that's it, you know. Things, that's why we haven't had too many videos because Lynn was in the mountains and I was busy with the boat. Um, but I look forward to making some uh, fishing videos. Maybe we'll catch something this time. Who knows? But, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers, the old subscribers. Uh, let us know if you have some suggestions on some some videos you'd like us to see, like us to make, some videos you'd like to see. Um, I'll be honest with you, sometimes we get, we run out of um, content to make, to make, so uh, if there's something that you like that we haven't been making that you want to see more of, let us know. Peace.